Welcome back to Deadly Nonsense, where we try to make some sense out of the nonsense. We're talking about God making sense out of the nonsense. Listen, there, there's another aspect of this uh, that is that's important. Sometimes when we're hanging out with other Christian people, when we're in church, when, when we're in Christian ministries, Christian circles, right, there are things that people are going to call nonsense that aren't nonsense. That, that God says it doesn't need to be fixed. It's not nonsense. Right? Uh, a friend of mine was, was talking about the fact that uh, he just participated in a, a, a group think tank, right? a presentation of different eschatology, different end times thinking. Right? Here's what I think, here's what I think, here's what I think, here's what I think. Right? The, the truth is, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, twenty, fifty, hundred 10, 20, 50, 100 of us, thousands of us, millions of us have the same thing. We've got a, a way of thinking. We've, we've listened. We've adopted it as our own. We've sifted through. We've figured it out on our own. But, but it's ours. Like We believe this. There are people who look at that and say, that's nonsense. You've got to get rid of that nonsense. Your thinking is nonsensical. It's not good. Right? It's wrong. You've got to fix this. We've got to fix you. Right? We hear that all the time with addictions and things like this. We've got to change your thinking. When we determine that somebody else is thinking wrong, you've got to change your thinking. Usually we try to argue that in. We try to beat them up over it, guilt them into it. We try all kinds of ways other than really the, the only way of changing is you got you to gotta be open to the idea that you might be wrong. Most people aren't going to be open to the, to the fact that they might be wrong. But what happens in those occasions when you're, when you're right? One of those people probably is going to be more right than the other ones. They're going to get it right, right? Jesus either going to come back before the tribulation, in the middle of the tribulation, the end of the tribulation, or, or somewhere else, right? Somebody's going to get it right. If, if we all pick the day, somebody probably would get it right, right? So what happens when you think everything around you, everybody around you is being nonsensical, and, but you're the right person? Well, you need to check with God. And if God says, yeah, that, that's, that's right. You are the sensical one. You are making sense out of all of this nonsense. People do need to listen to you. But sometimes we're branded as nonsensical when God says, no, no, you're right. That's all over in the Old Testament. Situations and people that everybody else would have said, no, no, God would never do this. God doesn't work this way. Right? And he does. Nobody would have thought that God would have chosen a young virgin woman to have his son. If you read prophecy, you would have, right? But nobody with that. That's not how God works. God would never do that to a young woman. The cost of being pregnant out of wedlock, stoning, right? Joseph's great, decided to put her aside, divorce. But guess what happened? God sent an angel to say to Joseph, this actually is sensical. This actually is what I'm doing. Everybody else thinks it's nonsense. It actually is sense. I mean, Tonight, you might be sitting in a place where you're just sure that this is what God's called me to do. It doesn't make sense to anybody else. It's nonsense to everybody else. But it's sensical to me. It makes sense to God. And God is asking you to do it. Right? What happens when everybody else says nonsense? God says sense. Can you figure that out? Are there things in your life where that's true about where God's asking you to make a nonsensical stance, right? To everybody else, but it makes sense to God. You got to be really careful about that. We love to declare ourselves right. We love to declare ourselves as the only godly one in the room. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about when God really, really calls you to it. And when God really says, yeah, this is what makes sense to me. So there's a lot to chew on that. You probably need to sift through some stuff, right? Think about your life. What are the things you've declared sense ago? God says to nonsense. What are maybe some of the things you've declared other people have declared nonsense, but God's like sense, right? Think about it. We'll see you next time. Nightly Nonsense.